What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John Place here and Friday, the Nintendo Switch Lite is officially released here in North America as well as I'm pretty sure the rest of the world. And Amazon already has a lot of accessories available for the Nintendo Switch. So right now I'm going to be reviewing and going over all of the pre-release accessories currently available for the Switch Lite. This was reckless. Now, some of these accessories are going to be exclusive to the Nintendo Switch Lite, and some of them have variants that work for the Nintendo Switch non Lite. I'm going into this with the mentality of you're going to be purchasing the Nintendo Switch Lite one of two reasons. One, you want a more portable console in addition to your Nintendo Switch. Or two, this is going to be your primary Nintendo Switch. That being the much smaller, much more portable light compared to the non-light. Guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over a lot of accessories. There's going to be Amazon links to everything in the description down below. So if you want to pick up one of these for yourself, do me a favor, use the links down below. Also, the people who sponsored the video, those are listed down there as well. The very first accessory I want to go over for the Nintendo Switch Lite is going to be a way to hold it and play it a little bit better. Now, I have tiny girl hands, and for me, the Nintendo Switch Lite feels really good. To hold in my hand and everything else and to play with it, it's it's a fluid experience and I like it a lot. However, for an extended play session, a lot of people prefer a grip, a way to hang on to it a little bit better. Satisfy have their Nintendo Switch grip, which used to be called the Switch Grip Pro. I don't know if it's still called that anymore, but also here is the Switch Grip Pro Lite. I don't know the final name. Oh, the Switch Grip Lite. There we go. Obviously, it's made for the Nintendo Switch Lite, but it's also white, and it's really nice. It fits onto the Nintendo Switch very, very snugly, which is a good thing. And what's unique about this grip is this hand is in a great position to touch everything here. This hand is actually slightly offset, so you're going to be coming at it from this angle, not to this angle. And what that means, it's going to be a more ergonomic and better feeling experience for longer play sessions. Next step is going to be a very obvious choice for anyone who owns a Nintendo Switch, a Pro Controller. Now this is the limited edition NES Pro Controller by Colorware, which they, it is an OEM Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, just they do a full paint job to it. And why do I say a Pro Controller would be nice for the Nintendo Switch Lite that does not dock? Maybe you're going to be in a desktop setting and you're going to be able to play with the Switch far away from you and you'll be able to control it from here without actually having to hold on to it. But in that situation, you need yourself a stand. You can go on Amazon and buy any of these stands that are not very expensive at all. They fold down very, very small and compact so they fit in your bag nicely. Now having your Nintendo Switch on a stand like this makes it so that when you're playing in a desktop setting, you don't actually need to hang on to the system. And because of that, you can get a better overall view and feel for the game. Now while Nintendo does make their official charge stand for the Nintendo Switch that will work with the Switch Lite, it then rests it on the tabletop further away from you. And while it does have varying degrees of angling and the side has a USB-C input that would be used for charging, I just like the ability to have the USB exposed at the bottom so you can plug in anything that you'd like. Which brings us to our next thing, a dongle. You don't really need to get a good one. You don't need to get something expensive. If you own a MacBook Pro and you have that dongle, this one will work just fine. And all you're really using this for is the ability to plug in USB-C and I'll put USB-A, pretty sure that's USB-A. Now on a dongle like this that has video out and power in, these things will not work with the Switch Lite. However, you are going to be able to plug it in and connect any devices that require USB. So if you wanted to use a wired controller like this PDP face-off controller with headphone jack on there, you'd be able to plug this into this dongle and you'll see that this shows up as a USB controller. You can completely control the Nintendo Switch from a wired controller using this dongle method. And if you did pick up the PDP controller, you could even plug in the headphone jack and that works with headphones. However, since it can't dock, you could totally just plug it into the Nintendo Switch's headphone jack itself and then use that headphone jack. This is more of a feature for if you have a full-size Switch and it's docked. Now this is a new accessory called the Switch Mini Stand. The difference is this one is not only dirt cheap, it's very light. If you throw this in your backpack, your bag, you're not even going to realize that it's there. The trade-off, of course, being 
you know, the trade-off of using lighter materials, it being less sturdy. However, this doesn't feel that bad. The bottom has rubberized feet, that way it doesn't slide anywhere, and being able to rest your switch on there and still access the USB port at the bottom is a pretty fantastic experience. The last stand we're gonna be taking a look at is charging stand for Switch slash Switch Mini. This also charges a Pro Controller, which is really dope. So say for example, you take your Nintendo Switch out and you bring it with you to work and you play it on your lunch break on the tabletop and you play it on the bus or the train on the way to or from work. And when you come home, you just wanna dock it, not worry about it, and then transition over to your full Nintendo Switch. This bad boy plugs in with USB on the back right there. Your Nintendo Switch can slide into the first spot, beautifully, and your Pro Controller can rest right there. Plugging this in, you're gonna be able to charge both of these devices, and most of all, it's very compact. For the size of the charger, and then just how clean the lack of cables is, like you can have this sit on your desk, even at work, and it doesn't look too obstructive. In addition to that, if you wanna play your Nintendo Switch while it's charging, you can totally do that. And using that as a stand, it gives you a very nice angle to play at. The Switch charging stand. Oh, that's horrible. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but there's like black plastic streaks everywhere. No, no, screw this. That's horrible. Okay, don't buy that. No link down below. Dirty up my desk with your dirty rubber feet. Now, if your Nintendo Switch Lite is gonna be owned by someone who's, let's say, not the most careful, it might be a good idea to get a case for it. Here we have two different cases by the same company. One of them is a silicone case. One is a hard plastic case called a crystal case. The silicone case also comes with a screen protector and a full kit to apply a screen protector, which is really nice. The Nintendo Switch can just kind of jam into here as it's a silicone case, so it's malleable. And it comes in multiple colors to match the Nintendo Switch Lite version that you have. It's silicone and it has sort of a pla sort of like a light powdery feel of plastic, if that makes sense, if you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't obstruct the headphone jack game card slot or the vent holes, which is really nice. There is a cover for the volume rocker, although these buttons still can touch no problem, as well as the home and screenshot buttons, which I don't mind those being covered up since these, as well as the plus minus, aren't really pressed that often, and it's not really hard to access that button. And with it being silicone, of course, you can remove it, wash it, take care of it like that. As it comes in all the colors of a Nintendo Switch Lite, including the Zamazenta Zycian one, which is just a lighter gray, the problem is you don't see that sweet dope decal on the back. But with a clear case, you will. So this is a harder plastic that obviously can crack, and the point of the vit being able to crack is that it absorbs the impact from a drop. We have multiple points that it snaps together at the top, which is really nice. The side, the bottom. Ooh, I like that. It's, it's not like a plastic that you're going to like easily slide off of. So it has some nice grip to it. It adds just like the slightest bit of bulk, but I'm not mad at it. It lies pretty much completely flush with the face buttons, the A, B, X, Y. Of course, the joysticks stand out, but that's fine. And the shoulder buttons are exposed, but this is a nice way to say, hey, this is my Nintendo Switch Lite, and especially if you have the limited edition one, you're gonna get the full image of it on the back. How easy is this to remove? Not very easy. That's good. I always say, if it's hard to take off when you want it to, then the chance of it coming off when you don't want it to, not that great. That was, that was a feet and a half. That means that that thing is not popping off. There's a lot of points that it secures together. So even if you drop it and it cracks several times, it's probably still staying on there until you want to take it off. And this in particular case that I got is by, on Amazon is listed as E-C-H-Z-O-V-E, -E, and it's 10 bucks. Like if you take it off and it shatters, or if you drop your Switch light many, many times, it's gonna cost you $10 to replace the case. That's fantastic. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than going out and buying a brand new one, right? Uh, they sponsored this as well as a few more of the accessories. The details are gonna be down below all the Amazon links. Next up, let's talk storage cases. I have three of them here. Two are by that same company. They make an EVA material. And for the Americans out there, there is a ballistic nylon material. Much harder 
not guaranteed to stop bullets. The nylon obviously looks and feels like nylon, which may help prevent smudges and oils from your hands, as opposed to the EVA material, which can get smudges and oils from your hands much faster. I'm not crazy about them having a logo like that right there, but it is what it is. The EVA material has these little straps right here that take the switch and keep it in place you then have a pouch that flips over that holds eight switch cartridges and inside of here is a small area possibly for a USB-C cable. The OEM charger will not fit in here as it's too bulky. The ballistic nylon version has feet at the bottom and when you open it up it does not have those straps to hold it in place. Instead it has these little cutouts right here which is nice. So it fits in there very snugly. That rests on top, same thing, eight cartridges area for wires not big enough for the OEM charger. It really comes down on your preference of material and if you would like those straps to hold it in place or if you'd like it to be cut into the case itself. Maybe you're a classy guy and this is going to be your second Nintendo Switch. You have the main one at home that's for the family and whatnot and this one is your on-the-go switch so that during lunch you can play or on the train or whatever else and you don't want a case that looks like maybe it's aimed at a younger audience. That's where I found this baby. So right here is a little bit classier of a travel bag. On here we have uh, vegan leather, which is a nice way to say pleather. And then on the back we have a beautiful anthracite color, which is sort of like a heather gray but slightly different. Inside we have a large area for the switch light to go in and rest, as well as several pouches for accessories that you could fit in there as well. It's worth mentioning that this pouch is not exclusive to the Switch Lite as you can fit a regular switch in there, no problem. Underneath the button flap, we have a zipper here and inside of here is another pouch for wires and as well as some cable management ties, which is nice, or I don't know, pens, whatever adults use. And on the back is another compartment. This one does not have any features on the inside and it has a carabiner so it can strap onto a bag. If you want something a little bit more elegant than a case like this for your Switch Lite, this may be an option for you. Do you love the portability of the Nintendo Switch Lite? However, you really love physical games and you have a lot of cartridges. Getting a carrying case like this that holds a lot of games in there and maybe you have more than eight games. Now you have to choose which games you want to bring with you. Or maybe you only have eight, but you don't want this because your backpack already has a compartment for something like this. That's where this comes in. And it's the package is the most adorable thing. It looks like a tiny little pack of playing cards. Inside of here is a metallic Pokedex themed holder for Nintendo Switch games. It holds six of them very, very classily. It has this small door that can strap onto one side so you can open up only half, or you can open up this half right here. And I think that's adorable. If you have six games and you are feeling the nostalgia right now, if you're feeling the nostalgia, if you're feeling the nostalgia right now of Ash finally winning his first Pokemon League and you want a Gen 1 Pokedex, then this might be the news for you. It's not very large compared to the Switch Lite. But what if you have more than six games? Then you need something bigger. Boom. This bad boy is a, <laughs> it says video game collection. It's like steal me. We open this up and we have a full binder that can hold 30 Nintendo Switch cartridges, 30 of them. It's bigger than the Switch Lite in every single dimension. So this is going to be if you have a large physical library. And to be honest with you, I like keeping all of my games on the shelves. I might move to this myself just so I have them all at a glance. And if you own 30 or if you own 60 games, then get a second one. This thing isn't that thick. It's about the thickness of the Switch Lite. But what I'm getting at is, you could have a massive video game library, physical, and being able to keep this in your backpack, it's your full entire collection. If you're a content creator and you like to have a large variety of games or just a game enthusiast, and say for example, you're traveling overseas and you want access to all of your games, but you need your cartridges, 
this is the answer for you. This thing is beautiful. The only complaint I have about this is how crappy the printing job is. Like you can see all of the printer lines on it. I did want to feature this, which is a Bluetooth adapter for the Nintendo Switch, which allows you to route the audio out of the bottom to the USB to your Bluetooth adapter to wireless headphones, whether they be AirPods, Beats, Skull Candy, whatever. However, this is not compatible with the Switch Lite. It has these two little stems that stick up on either side. So because of that, the Switch Lite doesn't have those cutouts. So when you go to plug it in, it can't go in all the way. So this is the first accessory that I found that other than size limitations of it being obviously smaller, that it just does not work. Uh, if anyone knows Homu Spot, reach out to them and uh, tell them about this. And if you have this adapter, now you know it does not work with the Switch Lite. So we've gone through lots of accessories today for the Nintendo Switch Lite. There's going to be a link to all of them in description down below. Feel free to check them out. They are affiliate links, so if you do use that link, I do get a very, very small kickback. But it is super appreciated, and I thank you for that. Guys, if there's something that I reviewed here in the video that you have a question on, leave a comment down below, or feel free to tweet me at AustinJohnPlays. And, uh, yeah. Do me a favor, leave a like on the video if you're new to the channel. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.